Hey guys, this is Gabriel with Gamer Productions. Um, today we're going to be going over how to color grade and color correct a foot video footage, whether it be any kind of stock video footage or video footage that you took yourself. Um, so at, right here I have some stock footage that I got off of Video Hive. Um, it's pretty simple, not too uh, not too complex. It's very the video angle is very simple. The like the resolution is degrading as usual. Um, so it's not it's just very simple it's just a drone panning over this, uh, the sea so um, let me show you what I've already made and uh, what I want to achieve at the end of this video so I want to achieve something sort of like this um, where it looks a lot more cinematic you have the uh, the letterbox and you have the color it's color corrected and it's, it's a lot more vibrant it has more saturation and stuff so um, in order to achieve that it is pretty simple and pretty quick I can do it real quick so let's go ahead and get started so at first you want to make sure you have footage that's um, 1080p obviously you want HD so go ahead and make a new adjustment layer and uh, let's go ahead and rename this we're gonna name this um, ADJ layer okay and then uh, we're gonna go into effect go color, color correction and then we're gonna go to levels um, so levels is like the first thing I use um, mainly because this is to set the tone for the rest of the color correcting we're going to be doing so if you want you're going for a soft like a soft sort of vibe to, to the video then uh use something that's a little more bluish but like more green is kind of neutral and then blue like blues I mean, reds kind of like grungy um so as you can see i'm color correcting quite quick quickly so rgb is more with the brightness and, and, the, and the darkness um again you have red spectrum green and blue spectrum your alpha um, I'm not actually sure what this does to be honest I, every time we now around it doesn't redo do anything so uh, don't really worry about that knob so let's go ahead and open up another effect and color correction and let's go down to hue and saturation so this is another thing I use whenever I'm color grading because it's a uh, it's very helpful so I don't really touch the master master cue to uh, hue too much because um, I don't know it's just it changes the, the entire overall color so you don't really want to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and switch I'm gonna move the knob around just a little bit so we go back and we're Probably a little bit to the left. Um, not too much. There you go. And then we're gonna add some saturation to it. Um, not too much. So you go do it. See, it looks like it just looks horrible. Um, so make sure you tone it down and you, you make sure you make sure you, you uh, adjust it correctly. Uh, so dim down the di uh, the lightness a little bit, um, so it's a little bit more darker. And then we're done with heat and saturation. So the next thing I use in color correction is. Um, Where's the where's that brightness and contrast, and what this does is uh, obviously adds brightness to the thing, which we don't really need to add anymore. I think just a little bit more, and then uh, you want know, contrast. You don't want contrast like that because um, you know a little bit too much of anything does the very thing. So just add a little bit of contrast, uh, but as it tends to make it a little bit more darker. So you want to bring up the brightness just a little bit, not too much, and then there you go. Um, and then the last thing that I use in color correction is vibrant. Um, so this adds more vibrant colors, or it brings out the colors, it makes it more vibrant in your footage. So again, if you bring out too much, it's, it's not going to look too good. So like around there, the saturation, don't want to overdo it. You actually want to take off a little bit saturation, not too much, um, because it tends to make your, your footage too, um, <coughs> too saturated due to the fact that you're messing with huge saturation up there so um, those are most of the things I use um, mo all this right here magic bullet this is part of the magic bullet looks suite I believe um, so there's I'm gonna use the vignette um, I hope that's how you pronounce it um, and then I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit not too much because um, I don't want because this part get, tends to get a little bit too dark um, so I'm gonna have to tone it down just a little bit more and you can adjust the size and everything um, it doesn't really matter the size you can tell right here it's there's a size right here it's a circle um so add a little bit of vignette and then um go back and so there's it's called letterboxer um and this gives it that letterbox is more um cinematic so right there um i know that not everybody has that magic bullet suite so in order to make your own letterbox it's easy so let me go ahead and hit Control y and create a new black solid I'm gonna uh, readjust the size to probably around there. All right, drag it up, 
make sure you don't move it, move it from the x-axis and then just go up and then make sure you match up with the original like right around there okay there you go so if I remove the adjustment layer or well, from the, the black solid you can't really tell the difference so um, go ahead and control D and duplicate it and go down here and do the same process with down here Okay, so yes, that, that's that's perfect right there. So if I move the adjustment layer, you see your letterbox. So um, that's how you make your own letterbox. It's pretty easy. Um, a little side tip. So that there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, it's color graded. It looks a lot more to me. It looks a lot more cinematic and a lot more professional. Um, so you can transform any type of footage with um, these adjust with the, with these effects that I added to it. So. Um, if you want to make anything look cinematic, like you're making a video with somebody, it, you can use all these effects and uh, it makes it look a lot more polished. It like, makes it look a lot more like the, uh, better than this because this looks too, it looks unfinished. The, the photographer did a, a phenomenal job, but it's about the after effects, the, the work put in afterwards that makes it look better. So definitely like right there, just perfectly, it's just like black and white. It looks a lot more that, that looks right that right there looks like it belongs to the movie um so hopefully y'all learned something um i know this video wasn't too long so um like the video if you enjoyed it and if you learned something uh subscribe for more content if you want to see more things with after effects and um in, i do a lot of other things too so go ahead and subscribe um and look out for more content hit the notification bell when you do that way you can stay up to date with when i upload um i'm hoping to get back on the upload grind and just grind out on, on videos so um thanks for watching and don't forget, have a very awesome, awesome day.